wrist twistin' like a stir fry. Whip it in the kitchen wrist twistin' like a stir fry. Whip it in the kitchen wrist twistin' like a stir fry. Whip it in the so as usual, we already have our ingredients laid out. So we have some black pepper, we have some hot sauce, onion, pepper, and egg, milk, baking powder, flour, garlic powder, salt fish, deboned and shredded, and of course the bowl we're gonna mix our ingredients in. So now we're gonna add the dry ingredients. I have a cup of flour, two tablespoons, sorry, two teaspoons of baking powder, and some garlic and pepper until the ancestors say, that's enough my child. So now we'll add in the onions and peppers, the salt fish, the egg, and then we start mixing it all together. It's kind of difficult for me to mix and hold the camera, so I'm going to mix it and then we'll get back to you guys. Okay, so I've mixed it and I'm going to add milk. And you could either use milk or water, whatever you prefer. And you basically just add the milk until you reach your desired consistent, cons ugh, consistency of the batter. Um, it usually takes about a third cup. So I'm just adding the hot sauce, you know, you add what you can handle, so I'm going to put in about that much, and then we're almost ready to fry. So I added a little bit more flour just to thicken mine a bit, and then this is the consistency that I have, and this is good for me, like I said, you know, you do it until you find your desired consistency. And now we're gonna fry them on each side for about two to three minutes. Once they're finished frying, you remove them from the oil. You put them on a, a plate with napkin to absorb some of the oil. Well, there it is. And then you're done. Voila! So this is the end product. Um, I ended up making them smaller and a little bit more round so I could put toothpicks in them. And then I made a little spicy mayo sauce to dip it. Yum!